The deepest lake in Japan is found here in Sembuku City, Akita Prefecture. Can you guess what the name is? If you've watched part one, I mentioned it a couple of times there. Any guess? All right, it's Tazawako. To get around Tazawako by bus, you have to ride the Lake Tazawa Circular Line from Tazawako Station. Tickets are available at the Tourist Information Center and costs 1,290 yen each. The bus stops at the statue of Tatsuko for 20 minutes and the Gozen Uishi Shrine for 10 minutes before heading back to the station. It runs 3 times daily at 10.25 a.m. and 1.25 and 3.25 p.m. At 423 meters deep, it's just impossible for this beautiful caldera lake to freeze. Its depth also gives its gorgeous shades of blue. It's surrounded by forests and mountains which are reflected on its waters at daytime. Besides being the deepest lake, Tazawako is known for something else. A mysterious story of a dragon that is now protecting the lake. Legend has it that a beautiful lady named Tatsuko, who's from a little town of Inai in Akita, had once upon a time asked the goddess of mercy and compassion to give her eternal beauty. The goddess told her to drink some water from a sacred spring, which Tatsuko did, and to the point that she drank so much water that the spring went dry. But instead of her wish being granted, Tatsuko turned into a dragon. Realizing this, she threw herself into the lake out of despair. She's now believed to be the dragon guardian of Lake Tazawa. Her statue is 2.3 meters high and it's made from bronze but covered in gold coating to protect it from the highly acidic waters of the lake. Beside it is a modern style shrine. Our next up is Gozanu Ishi Shrine, built in 1911 and dedicated to the legend of Tatsuko. It stands on a big and flat rock called Gozanu Ishi Rock, which is said to be where the second lord of Akita rested while admiring the beauty of the lake. The vermilion colored Tori Gate looks absolutely stunning against the calm, indigo waters of Tazawako. Just nearby is another statue of Tatsuko, where half of our body is that of a dragon. By the way, since this is Japan, don't forget to go back to the bus on time as it will leave with or without passengers. Or you can just wait for the next bus if you want to stay longer. So what else can you do around Lake Tazawa? Its 20 km circumference is a popular route for cycling. There's also a bike rental somewhere around here if you just want to do some leisure biking. A popular activity the tourists love to do here is riding the Tazawako Pleasure Ferry Boat, which travels across the lake and slows down at Gozanu Ishi Shrine and Tatsuko Statue so passengers can take photos. The entire trip takes 40 minutes and costs 1,200 yen per person. When we arrived at the farmhouse, Okasan asked if we wanted to go to an onsen. So, here we are. Mizuzawa has indoor and outdoor baths with spring water flowing from Mount Akita Komagatake, which is a volcanic mountain. Its waters are rich in sulfur and calcium, which are good for the body. A table of sumptuous dinner was waiting for us at the farmhouse. For our last night here, Hatsumi-san and Okasan prepared a special Akita dish, Kiritanpo Nabe. They also served a homemade plum liquor, which instantly became our favorite. We're heading back to Tokyo later today, but we won't leave Akita without bathing at Chudo Nuyu Onsen, the oldest onsen in Yuto Onsen Village. To get to the onsen village, take the Nyuto bus from Tazawaku Station and get off at Aropa Komaksa, another onsen facility located at the hillside of Mount Akita Komagatake. From here, there's a Chudo Nuyu shuttle that comes to pick up guests. Google Maps won't show Chudo Nuyu shuttle bus as an option and will only tell you to take the bus all the way to Chudo Nuyu Onsen Iriguchi Station. And no other transport option is available from this point. Instead, you will need to walk along the curved and narrow road all the way to the onsen, which takes around 40 minutes. We're going to Chudo Nuyu Onsen. Nyuto on Nyuto. Nyuto Onsen Village or Nyuto Onsenkyo is a secluded hot spring resort in Akita. It sits at the foot of Mount Nyuto, which explains the name. 
It was discovered more than 300 years ago and consists of eight onsen facilities, offering picturesque views of rural Japanese landscape like no other. There's the oldest and most popular Churu no Yu Onsen, then you have Yamanoyado, Ganiba, Ogama, Tainoyu, Kyukamura, Magoroku, and Kuroyu Onsen. The hot spring baths here come from more than 10 water sources around the vicinity, and each onsen has different mineral components and quality. Finally, we're here. No radios, no TVs. No loud conversations could be heard as well. Instead, there's the sound of grinding pebbles under my feet as I walk and the rhythmic rushing of water which comes from a nearby water mill. You'll soon realize that this is a perfect place to unplug. There's also a certain scent drifting in the air. It smells like charcoal and is probably coming from the irori. Irori is a traditional Japanese sunken hearth where you can cook food in which doubles as heating. Churu no Yu's history dates back to mid-1600s when the second lord of Akita, Satake Yoshitaka, and his vassals would frequent the place. Its name means Crane Hot Spring. A long time ago, a local hunter was said to have seen a wounded crane, or Churu in Japanese, bathing in the waters of the onsen to heal its wounds. This is how Churu no Yu got its name. This is another lodging for guests. Not all rooms have an irori or private bathroom, by the way, but if I were you, I would take any available room because this onsen is extremely difficult to book. In fact, they recommend to do the booking at least six months in advance. Chudonuyu has one rutenburo, or open-air bath for women, and another one for mixed genders. Bathing fee for day trippers is 700 yen per person. Ticket, snacks, drinks, and some souvenirs are available at the office. Now, you may ask, how is the bathing experience at this onsen? First, the view is straight out of a dream. No kidding. Imagine a natural pool of silky, milky blue water with a little wooden shed in one corner. Surrounding it are aged wooden lodgings and structures at the onsen, mountain on the other side, and trees and greens everywhere you look. It's a paradise that they say becomes all the more magical during winter when everything is covered in powdery snow. The hot spring water smells like sulfur and it's very relaxing. It's like your body and mind are being cleansed by dipping into the water. It's a surreal, beautiful memory you could only etch in your mind because of course, taking photos is strictly prohibited in an onsen. We went back to the farmhouse after our amazing onsen experience, and Okasan gave us a ride to Tazawaku Station where we need to catch the Shinkansen bound for Tokyo. After having been to Aomori and Akita prefectures, I realized that this part of Japan is a little underrated. These prefectures are truly beautiful and there's so much to see and do within the region of Tohoku. You're definitely missing a lot if you only keep coming back for the cityscapes and the usual destinations. Come and visit Tohoku now and you won't regret it, I promise. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!